Here's today's Ag Journal weather sponsored by Lubbock Electric. Well, good Monday evening, South Plains. It's a clear and quiet night here in the Hub City. We've got a ridge of high pressure to our east and a little bit of a surface trough located with a low pressure system across portions of the Texas Panhandle. That's going to change up our weather here as we go into the next several days. But this weekend, we finally saw some rainfall bringing an end to our 45 day dry streak. Some areas saw up to a half of an inch of rain there in Jayton and Dickens. Here in Lubbock, though, saw just a little bit over a third of an inch. That will be very beneficial. We do have a lot of drought conditions going on. In fact, all of the KLBK viewing area under some level of drought status. So that rain, although it wasn't much for many, it will help us just a little bit. Now, overnight tonight, temperature is going to be pretty cool. Mid 40s into the rolling plains, a few upper 20s, low 30s possible over the northwestern portions of the KLBK viewing area. Overall, above average, though, for this time of year. That above average trend will carry on into our Tuesday. We're forecasting a high of 74 degrees with those winds eventually shifting to the north as we head into to the evening hours. That's because that cold front's going to move through. Really not going to impact us too much, though. We only fall to 70 degrees by Wednesday. That's still 12 degrees above average. And notice we'll be pushing near 20 degrees above average by Friday and getting very close to our record high temperatures. As we take a look for the next six to 10 days, you can see well above average conditions expected across most of the country. And then as we take a look at the eight to 14 day outlook, unfortunately that trend looks to continue. In addition to the above average temperatures, we're also going to see below average chances of precipitation from December 5th through the 9th. And then again from the 7th through the 13th. And Matt, this is the typical setup that we typically experience during our uh, Enzo status of La Nina. That's what we're expecting this winter. So in layman's terms, what that means, warmer than normal and drier than normal conditions are expected throughout the winter months. We're definitely going to see that over the next seven days. It's going to be a little cooler there on Saturday with highs in the 50s and low 60s, but that's average for this time of Whoa, year. Oh, so. look at that drastic from the low yeah. to the high, 33, 74, 38, 70. Yeah, Woo. that's what you get when it's dry and windy in West Texas. Makes sense. Thank oh, you yeah. very much. Well,